What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day seven of the Resist program. We have a lower body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into our three minute AMRAP warm up. So we're gonna set three minutes on the clock. We're gonna cycle through three inch worms with a rotation. So starting at the bottom of your mat, you're gonna walk out to your push up position. You're gonna do a push up. Right foot to the outside of the right hand and rotate up towards the right side. Right hand goes down, right foot goes back. Left forward comes up, left foot comes up, left arm goes up, and then walk back in. <clears throat> we're going three times through that. Then we're going three forward lunges each side with the knee tracking over the toe. So I'm trying to get my knee to close off as much as I can, I'm trying to get my knee over my toe. You can lift the heel if you need to, hold for two seconds and then back out. And then same thing on the left side. Three each side for six total. And then we're going five squat jumps. So we're gonna load up, hands forward, squat position, jump, land on soft knees, explode. For five reps, three minutes on the clock. We'll cycle through that as many rounds as we can, team. Let's do it. <laughs> we got a 10 second countdown. Inchworm with rotations coming up in three, two, one, and work. Optional push up here, guys. If you don't wanna do a push up, you don't have to. Take your time here, reach towards the sky. Feel that chest, hip flexor open. Three reps. And we got forward lunges, knee over the toe for three. Feel that calf stretch. Feel the stretch in the front of the ankles, hip flexor. Push out of there. Two second hold. And then five squat jumps. Load jump. And then resetting back to the top. Inch worm with rotation. Forty seconds, team. Twelve. Eight, three, two, one, and rest team. All right, let's get into it. First circuit up. We have same format as we've been doing. 50 second interval. The first set, eight reps. Although the second exercise, we're gonna do 10. So I'll just walk you through it. So first set, eight reps or 10. The second set, you're gonna have 60 seconds for 10 reps or 12 reps. And the third set, you're gonna have uh, a minute 15 for 12 reps or 15 reps. So, we're going Bulgarian split squats. So we got four exercises essentially we're gonna go through or four intervals. 
Bulgarian split squats with a dumbbell in one hand. So you need something to put your foot up on, like a bench, stool, chair, couch. You're gonna hold the weight in the right hand while the right leg is forward. We're gonna go all the way down. Ideally, the back knee kisses on the ground and drive back up. Eight reps in the first set. Then we'll switch, 50 seconds to complete. Your only rest is the remainder of that 50 seconds. Then we switch legs, we do eight reps on the left leg. Same thing. Now, if you have a booty band or a hip circle, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna get that out and we're gonna do banded single leg hip flexor raises. This is a little bit easier exercise and it goes a little faster. So we're gonna go 10, 12, 15 instead of eight, 10, 12. And what you're gonna do is stand up, hands over your head, feet are about shoulder width apart, and you're gonna drive up, hold for one second. We're gonna do 10 reps on the right leg. In the first 50 seconds, we want a one, two pause at the top though, and you really wanna feel it in the hip flexors and quads. And then we'll go 10 on the left leg. If you don't have a band to do that with, you're gonna do the seated straight leg raises. So here, lift up, hold, one, two, down, up, hold, one, two. Any questions, team? Four exercises, 50 seconds each this first round. The Bulgarians are eight reps, and the hip flexor raises are 10 in this first round. I'm gonna go with a 40 in my first round of Bulgarians. We are going in eight seconds, team. Right leg forward, holding the weight in the right hand. You can also hold on to something if you struggle with balance. And if you don't have anything, you can do split squats like this. Sorry, I should have said that before. Nice and slow down, touch, drive. Eight reps. Control that descent. seconds team and we got left leg for eight <coughs> in ten take your time here try to let that back knee kiss on the ground three two one and work nice and slow Throw your band on team, or get set up for those hip straight leg raises. We're going in 12 seconds. We're gonna do 10 reps on the right leg with a two second hold. We want that band right above the kneecaps. <clears throat> Hands behind your head, and drive up, hold, one, two. One, two, 10 reps. You can come out a little bit to the side too. Squeeze. Whew, should really feel that in the front of those hip flexors down into the quads a little bit. <clears throat> 14 seconds, team. We're going same thing on the left leg, 10 reps. In seven. Three, <clears throat> two, one, and work. Squeeze, hold. Don't let that band ride up too much. Oh. <sighs> 10 reps, team. Drop the band off, get ready for your Bulgarians with the right leg again. I'm gonna stick with 40s. Felt pretty good. I probably could've went heavier on the first set. All right, we're going in seven seconds. Right leg again, 10 reps. Three, one, 
And work, nice and slow, touch, drive. You got 60 seconds this round to complete 10. Keep your heel down, nice and slow. Control that descent. Come on. <clears throat> 10, team. Rest the remainder of the 60. Going 10 on the left leg in 12 seconds. In five, pick it up. Three, one, and work. Nice and slow, let that back knee kiss, drive. Come on. Fifteen seconds, team. It's actually a little light. I'm gonna go up for twelve. I'm gonna go up to fifties on the twelve set for eight fifty. We got hip flexor raises for uh, twelve reps. In five, three, one, work. Twelve on the right leg. Squeeze, hold. You can put your hands on your hips or overhead, whatever allows you to focus a little bit more. Come on, straight in front of you. Try to get up at least a parallel with the ground with that thigh. And then nice and controlled back down. We got 20 seconds, we're hitting 10 or 12 on the left leg now. In 10, team. You should feel this hip flexors a little bit in the abs, too, actually. We're going in three, two, one, and work. Try right, up, squeeze. Try to keep a good posture. Tall. Twelve reps. Two second hold. One, two. Hold on to something if that helps you balance. It's not about balance, it's about working this hip flexor. All right, team, 20 seconds for our final set. I'm going 12 Bulgarians. I'm gonna go even heavier. I'm gonna jump up to a 50. Feeling pretty good. It's only in one hand, so I think that's why I maybe underestimated a little bit. Five seconds, team. Right leg, 12 reps. Two. And work. Nice and slow. Touch, drive, 12. Come on, team. Oh. Woo. 25 seconds. Switching legs. A minute and 15. In 20, team. 
12 on the left leg. In five, come on. Left arm, left leg. One. And work. Nice and controlled. Touch, try. Hip flexor raises, 15 reps each leg coming up. Let's do it. Get on your band, we're going in 10, team. 15 on the right leg. Stay true to that tempo of the two second hold. Three, one, and work. 15 reps on the right leg. One, two. Try not to come across the body, kind of just come up and out to the outside of the hip a little bit. Come on. Fifteen reps. We got twenty something seconds left. Again, if you need to, you can hold on to something. If that helps you balance a little bit more, and if you're focused on not falling over more than anything, just hold on to something. I'm gonna do it just for this leg because I might feel more work in my hip flexor. Three, two, one. Let's go. Abs tight, try not to overextend the back, hold. Nice and slow down. Fifteen reps. Seconds, team. Twenty, and we are done. We got a nice two-minute break coming up as I walk us through our next circuit here. We got the same format. You're finishing up in twelve, five, three, two, one, and rest, team. All right, same format. We basically have four circuits. Only two exercises, but they're unilateral work. So we're gonna get four intervals of 50, 60, and 70, or 75, and we're gonna go eight, 10, and 12 on this one. So simple. We're starting off with a single leg deadlift. So you're gonna hold a single dumbbell in the, uh, what are we gonna do first? Okay, so if you wanna do the right leg first, or we'll do the left leg first. So single leg deadlift, weights in the right hand, you're gonna let that back leg go back and act as a counterbalance to your upper body. So we're trying to lean over, hinge at the hips, chest towards the gown, drive up. This is gonna work the opposite leg, so it's gonna work your left leg. Feel free, again, to hold on to something. I don't want you balancing and falling over. If that's the objective, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking to work that hamstring. So we're gonna go eight reps on the right, left leg, and then we'll spin around in the next 50 seconds, eight reps, this leg. 
If you struggle with that even, you can put and do a kickstand deadlift, just that foot behind you a little bit. We're still loading up the one leg with 90% of the weight. So that's our first two movements, 50 seconds each side, eight reps. Then we're doing a step down. If you have a box, you're gonna stand on the edge of your box or bench, I'm sorry, bench box. Couple ways to do this. We're trying to, it's almost like an, uh, a regression to a pistol squat. So go down nice and slow. You can touch your heel down on the ground, which is harder, or your toe, and then back up. We're trying to get very little jump off the bottom foot. So the lower the bench you use, the easier it is. The higher, the harder. You can also start making it harder by putting the foot out in front of you more. That gets you more range of motion. Most of you are probably gonna need to do that body weight, and we're not actually gonna add weight. I'm gonna start out with a small 15 pound dumbbell for my eight rep set and then I'm gonna probably go body weight the final set. If you don't have a box to do that on, you're gonna do, uh, what do you go, alternate reverse lunge. Because if you didn't have a box for the first one, you did split squats, now we'll do reverse lunges if you don't have a step down. But you can literally step off of anything. Stool, your couch, whatever you got available. Bench, anything. Any questions, team? Four sets, four exercises, 50 seconds each is first round, eight reps. I'm gonna go with a 50 on that single leg deadlift. We're going in 10, team. I'm gonna hold in my left hand. I'm gonna hold my right hand first. I'm gonna work my left leg first. Eight reps in three, one. Keep your chest square to the ground. Nice and slow, drive back up to that left leg. Abs tight. <sighs> Whew. Uh, think about pushing through the ground with that left foot and that heel. We switch, the same thing with the right now. 10 seconds team, we're switching hands and legs. I'm gonna hold the weight in my left hand. My right leg's going back in three, one, and work. Ooh. Sorry, my left leg's going back. Same leg is going back that you're holding the dumbbell in. Can't get that right today. Eight reps. Woo. We got 12 seconds, we're going step down. Whatever leg, I think we just did right leg, I might do the left leg first. In four, three, I'm gonna start on my left leg. And work, dumbbell out in front. Touch the heel if you want, or the toe. Try not to jump off that bottom leg. <sighs> Eight reps, team. We got 20 seconds. Switching legs. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep that 20. Go on the right leg. In eight. Another eight, right leg. Three, two, one. And work. Trying to bring just my heel. And I'm trying to keep the heel planted on the box. Stick with the 15. I think I can eke out 10 with that too. And I'm gonna say 50 on the deadlift. Weights in the right hand on the deadlift. We're going 10 reps in 60 seconds. Working the left leg. In three. 
One, let's work team. 10 good reps. Think about aiming that hand at the toes of your left foot. Low back stays flat. We're hinging at the hips. Come on. Woo, 20 seconds, team. That should be all glutes, hamstrings, low back. Ten. Weights in the left hand. Left leg goes back. Right leg is doing the work. Three, two, one. Let's work. Come on. Abs tight. Ten reps. heavy. We got step downs coming up. Left foot. Start it out. Or whatever is the opposite of what you just finished with. So I want to give that leg a rest a little bit. <clears throat> 10 reps <clears throat> in five, two, and work. Come on. This should really load up the quad, more so than the hamstring. Try to keep the chest upright as much as you can. Ten reps, team. Woo! We got 20 seconds. <clears throat> We're going in eight. Four, two, one, and work. And reps, come on. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I feel that in my hip flexors from those hip flexor raises too. 15 seconds, we got our final set team. I'm gonna try to hang with the same weight for 12. Deadlifts are gonna be hard. You got the full minute and 15 though, so if you need to take a couple seconds off the top, you can. Come on. <clears throat> All right, 12 reps, come on. Final set of these. Five seconds, team. Switching legs.
<clears throat> Last set on the right leg. In 10, 12 reps. Two, one, and work. Cool. 25 team. We got 25 seconds to finish, or 20 now. Step downs, the final set. I'm gonna try to stick with the 15. 12 reps, gonna be grind. Come on. In five, three, one, and work. Left leg for 12. No jumping, just touch and drive if you can. Push through the left leg. Even if you have to pause for a second. Team. You got 15 seconds to finish. We're switching legs. Same thing on the left leg. In seven. Come on, three. One. And work. We got 35 seconds left. Come on. Oh. Woo. Finishing in 12, team. Come on. Five. Three, one, and rest team. Two minutes. We got some VMO squats. If you guys have some wedges, you're gonna grab them. We're gonna elevate those heels and we're gonna do a narrow stance squat here. So I got some wedges. I'm gonna set them up pretty close together. If you guys don't have wedges, you can use small dumbbells. And you just basically wanna be able to prop the heel up so that the toes on the ground, the heels are elevated like so. You can use a book, anything, a couple books. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna try to hold the dumbbell up front. We're going eight reps, same concept, eight, 10, 12. Next movement, we're doing 10, 12, 15. So we're gonna try to keep our chest vertical as possible. That's what the wedges help us do. Drive those knees forward, get as low as you can. Ideally, the hamstrings touch the calves, chest stays upright. We're trying not to bounce out of the bottom of the hole and we're gonna control that and drive back up. We're gonna do eight reps. 
If you guys don't have anything to elevate on, which I doubt it, you can just do narrow stand squats. This is a little harder though without the heels elevated. You need really good ankle mobility to try to keep your chest upright without collapsing over. So I'd highly recommend setting up the heels on something. That's our first move. Second move is just a standing dumbbell calf raise. We're gonna take two dumbbells, rock up onto the heels, squeeze up onto the toes, hold for a second, back down. We're going 10, 12, 15 on this one. A little higher rep. I'm gonna go with 60s on that. So it's 8, 10, 12 on the VMO, 10, 12, 15 on the calf raises. Any questions, team? Let's do it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 40 on the VMO squat to start for eight. See how I do. We're going in 10 seconds. You got 50 seconds to complete eight reps. In four, three, one, and work, team. Nice and slow down. Knees over the toes. Don't bounce, drive up. Eight. Try to keep those knees pretty tucked together and straight forward. Try to really feel it in the quads. Twenty-three seconds left. Eight reps. Whew. All right, calf raise is coming up in seven. Ten reps here, and work in fifty. Grab them, rock, squeeze. Pause at the top. Come on. Fifteen seconds. We're back to VMOs. I'm gonna stick with forty for ten. See how I do. In five, team. Ten reps. Two. And work. 60 seconds for 10. Come on. <clears throat> Whew. Eight seconds. Calf raises. 12 reps to your team. Three. One. 60 seconds. 12 reps. Come on. <clears throat> Rock up on those heels. We want to get a little bit of the anterior tibialis too. That's the front of the calf. 12 reps. Knees stay locked out. Team. Last set of VMOs. I'm gonna stick with 40s. 12 reps and 15 calf raises. In three, one, and work. Oh shit. Quads are getting smoked. 
12 rep. Thirty seconds. <clears throat> Calf raises, fifteen reps in seventeen. Three, one. Fifteen. Rock, squeeze, hold. Come on. Thirty seconds to finish team twenty five. Huh. Rest the remainder of the one fifteen. Ten. Two, one, and rest team. All right. Final circuit of the day, we got a little core work to finish us off. AMRAP style. So we're gonna set five minutes on the clock. And we're gonna cycle through these three movements for as many rounds as you can, going at your own pace. We're gonna start off with 10 dumbbell overhead crunches. I'm gonna go a little lighter here, maybe 10 or 15. You're gonna be on your back, <coughs> holding. Dumbbell overhead, elbows stay bent, legs are straight. You're basically gonna sit up, bring the knees in, touch the dumbbell, and then back out and touch. You can also do this body weight if you get tired and you can't use the dumbbell. You can also do a little crunch if you can't come all the way in. Just bring your knees in a little bit and then back down. So, pick the modification that suits you. Then we got 20 slow mountain climbers. So, we're gonna be on our hands. You're gonna try to bring the knee to the elbow nice and slow, 10 each side. Think about crunching. I'm actually doing a little bit of like kind of a, a little side bend as I come up. Crunch, crunch. You really wanna feel this down the sides of your obliques. Then you're gonna stay on your hands and we're gonna do 10 plank shoulder taps. We're trying to hold about a one second pause while that hand touches the shoulder. So push up position, feet a little wider, chest stays square to the ground, touch, back down, touch. Five each side for 10 total. Those are our three moves, team. Any questions? We good? Let's finish strong. We're going in 25 seconds. Walk it off, try to get that heart rate down a little bit. <clears throat> Whew. 10 overhead crunches, 20 slow mountain climbers, 10 each side, and then 10 plank shoulder taps, five each side. We're going in five. Let's go team. Challenge yourself here. Two, one, 10 reps. Nice and controlled. And slow climbers, 10 each side.
10 plank shoulder taps, five each side, core tight, chest square, hold. Oh, that should start burning after you've done the other core work. 330 left. Back to your crunches once you're through. Take a couple seconds break if you need it. Oh, I'm going body weight on these. Oh, halfway through, team. About 240 left. Two minutes, team. Oh, a minute thirty five. Fifty seconds here. Finish strong. Take breaks if you need it. We don't want the quality to suffer. I'm going slower. Still really focusing on the end. I'm not just rushing to get through it. Thirty seconds. seconds. Three, one, and done team. Awesome work. Woo, core is cooked. That was fun. Thank you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Be back tomorrow with the final live workout of the week, which is a full body workout. And then just a reminder, in case you guys didn't see the email or you didn't see the past two workouts, there's no live workout on Thursday or Friday this week. I'm out of town but the workouts are pre-recorded to fit the resist program. I was working out all weekend to get those done. Thank you guys, I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good one, bye.